Hi, I'm Trevor of Clear Edge 3D. I'm joined with Zach Whiting over here, and we're gonna take you through a look of the GTL 1200 and collage site. So here we are out in the ice skating ring doing a little floor flatness testing right here with the instrument. So one of the cool things about collage site is we also have the ability to do on-site heat mapping. So we can quickly scan and get results right there on the field to show how our concrete or our slab is level. So we can produce visual heat maps again for instantaneous feedback. So this is the collage site software. So as the scans are done, they'll be automatically transferred through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth over to the tablet where we can on-site do our registration as well as we can actually tie into control using the total station part of the instrument. This is the GTL 1200 scanning robotic total station. It is a laser scanner mounted on top of a GT robot. So that gives you the best of both worlds. We have the ability to scan as well as do all the standard stuff we could do a robot, including layout. So a little bit about the specs on the scanning side. It's got about a 70 meter range. As far as resolutions go, I can do an 11 mil at 10 meter resolution. That takes about a minute, 20 seconds. And then with imagery, that will add another minute. And you can see right here, we have our camera. So it does support scanning in full color. Hey everyone. Zach here. I just want to cover some of the main features of 145. One of those main features is the introduction of elevation heat maps as a visibility option in Collage Site 145. So in order to enable these elevation heat maps, all we do is click the button for our elevation settings. And as you can see, we can go from grayscale right into an elevation heat map. Now, we have a couple different types of heat maps. We have a basic heat map where we can set the min and max Z. With the smooth, which is a more basic heat map with a couple of different settings, but what I'll focus on is the stepped heat map. This gives us the most settings. So within the stepped heat map, we can either manually enter a reference elevation, or if we aren't sure or we want to use the data that we've collected in Collage Site, we can click this button here, the little circle with a dot in it, and then we can click anywhere in our data that we've captured in Collage Site and make that our reference elevation. There we go. Now, now that I've set that as my reference elevation, just want to go over a couple of extra things. We can turn on hide points above or below with either a toggle here. And what this does is it creates a temporary section box around our data. Now, when we have hide points of below turned on, we can either dynamically update the range of the section box via this slider or we can manually type the value. I like to keep mine nice and tight, especially when I'm working on slabs. So I'll link this one nice and tight. We can further set a high and low tolerance. A high and low tolerance for heat map elevation allows us to set the tolerance above and below our reference elevation. Furthermore, we can set the increment size, which is the detection or change in color based off of a defined increment. I have mine set to about an eighth of an inch here. And then you can actually set the number of increments that are visible. Currently have five, that means we have five below our target elevation and five above. Thanks for checking this out. And this is one of the main features that is new in Collage Site 145. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care and happy modeling.